Welcome everybody to Board Sports Network and today we're going to do something a little differently. We are going to look at the game Bolorama from Play Games. We're going to do an unboxing of it, see what all comes with the base game, and maybe even do a little bit of gameplay with it. Bolorama sells for about $49 from Play Games and I'm going to have a link to it in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But today we're going to go behind the scenes, see what all comes with the base game, get into a little bit of gameplay, and try to figure this game out. I have never played it before. I actually have only watched very limited amount of video on it. So I wanted to check the game out for myself and I want you to check it out with me. So let's go down to the table and let's go behind the scenes. First things first, with whatever game you purchase from Play.com, you always get a thank you letter from Keith. Now, usually these are uh, already typed up, but they're always signed by Keith. So it's little things like that from Play Games that really, um, that just really do it for me and, and add that extra little touch. So that's always something that I really appreciate anytime you order something from Play. So here is how you usually receive your package. The game comes bubble wrap so that it doesn't get damaged in the mail. And we're going to go ahead and open it up here and check out what all is in here. So first things first, great box that the game comes in. Great artwork. Um, these boxes are really nice. They actually redid the boxes uh, here in the past year or so. So the boxes are a little bit bigger. They slide out. You can slide them um, in and out. And you have this little sleeve here and then the game box itself. But you can see on the back you've got what all it includes, a um, kind of a history of how they came up with the game and a little bit of background on it. It's really nice. And then here's what some of the fans think about Bolarama. And then you also have a link to the Facebook group for Play Games. So I really love these new boxes. Um, you can actually purchase, if you have the game itself, you can actually purchase these boxes separately for I think about $15. So really nice, really great addition to your game collection. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what all comes with the game. So you've got, this is another neat thing, it all comes in one uh, sealed envelope, or not envelope, but sealed plastic wrap. Some of my other play games making their way onto the table, but always really nice how it's put together. Uh, Keith and Sam take really great care in making sure that everything comes um, clean and, and not just floating around in the box so it can get bent up. and That's always really nice to see. We'll move that off to the side. First thing you'll notice is you have kind of a lane as your target board. You've got <laughs> your approach board, so the approach at the beginning of the lane, and then some of your off-target roll tables for Y-ball, U-ball, Z-ball. Again, I have no clue what any of this means, so you all are learning this right along with me. We have what looks to be spare pickup boards. So six, I guess, spare attempt for six pins remaining and six plus and six minus, maybe. Oh, and then you've got four spare attempts, two, one, three spare attempts. So that might just be uh, the remaining pins left at the end of the lane. You have quick play bowling mode chart. Yeah, we've got normal table, aggressive, wow, and then a uh, kind of an asterisk chart here and we'll get into those here in a little bit as we go through the rules we've got the game instructions which is very short so it looks like we've got a welcome message getting started this is what all comes with the games you get two 20 sided dice which are your big black and white dice there you got two six sided dice that comes with the game a set of 24 individual professional bowling cards, a set of eight generic bowler ability cards, two-piece bowling game, alley, a bowling alley game board, which I'm probably not going to be able to fit all on the camera. We'll see how it goes, though. We have 
two double-sided game boards with spare tables, quick play charts, unusual results, and rare results, quick play bowling game board, instruction booklet, and some sample bowling score sheets. So then it kind of tells you how to get started in the game, um, how to bowl participant mode, full play, uh, placement, some of the different types of balls that can be thrown, yeah, first roll balls, second roll, completing a game, and then you have some of the other type of play modes where either it could be participant mode, quick play, maybe it's spectator mode, full play, and spectator mode, quick play. Down here at the bottom, we've got, it looks to be just generic bowling rules and scoring, which I'm going to need that because I am absolutely terrible at scoring a bowling game. And then some examples down here, and then questions and comments where you can uh, contact play games if you have any questions. Here is the dice that come with it. You got your two 20-sided dice and your two six-sided dice. And then these look to be um, bowling or uh, bowlers. So these are all on perforated sheets that you can just separate. We've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 bowlers. And then you've got, it looks to be, I would say these are your just generic bowling charts. So if you're 160 average, you'd use this card, 130, 145, 115, 220, 190, 205, and 175 average bowlers. I'm probably down there in the 115s if I'd have to guess and then some scoring charts. So really neat, four bowlers per chart, and I would say you can probably get on the play site and download these uh, score sheets for free, so that's another, usually the score sheets that come with any play game, you can get on the site and download those for free if you run out. But let's, um, let's set up a game real quick and maybe roll a couple frames for this video and then we'll see uh, in the next video maybe we'll do a playthrough of a couple full games. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up get as much of it on the camera as I can and let's roll a, let's roll a few frames. So now that we've got our lane set up how we do this is it's supposed to mimic a an actual uh, throwing a ball down the lane. So you need to, on your roll, the first die roll, your first throw, actually every throw, needs to touch the approach board first, roll towards the lane. If the black die lands inside the shaded triangle, that is an exceptional bolt or exceptional roll. We cross-reference the number on the 20-sided dice with the card. And if it's an exceptional roll, we read from the exclamation point column. If it's a normal roll, which is landing outside of the shaded circle, then it is just a routine ball. And if we roll and it goes off the board, then that is a questionable ball and we read off of the uh, question mark result. So whatever you roll, so let's say we, I'm using a 160 average card, I roll a 10, that correlates to a strike, and that would be a strike for that frame. Now say I rolled just onto the target, and 12, that would be a routine ball, and that would be 8 pins knocked down. So for my second roll, I would go to the 8 column and roll again, doing the same, uh, same thing. If I roll into the zone and cross, or the triangle and cross-reference that on the eight column, a 17 would give me a spare. If I'm outside of it, say 15 in a routine ball, that would be a spare also. But if I rolled a 19, I'd only knock down one pin. And a questionable ball with a 19, or a, I guess 11 to a 20, I would have missed the pins. So on these cards, there are 
uh, depending on what you roll in your first roll, you could either have nine, eight plus, eight, eight minus, and the plus and the minus is you knock, uh, for a plus, you knock down eight pins, and the plus indicates that it should be a simple spare pickup. The pins were close together, or, um, you know, it's a simple spare. If you rolled an eight minus, that means uh, it could be a seven, ten split, where you've got the seven and the ten pin, and it's a difficult spare to pick up. Now let's say you had a questionable, questionable roll and you landed on uh, U, Y, or Z, then we would come down to the approach board and check the off target rolls and then you would roll the white and the black dice and you would read black number first, white number second, so a black four and a white two would be a 42 and that indicates a five plus. So then we, that means you knock down five pins, the remaining five pins are close together, and then you go to a chart that has the five plus uh, pickup on it. So fairly simple to understand and pick up. Let's go ahead and roll a few frames here and just see how, um, and see how this plays out a little bit. I'm only gonna do a couple frames at this moment because I like to play a couple uh, little bit, try to figure the game out, and then later on I'll start a new game and, and bowl a whole game once I understand it a little bit better. So that'll be for the next video, but for here let's just roll a couple frames, uh, see what questions come up and what answers we can find, and hopefully figure it out a little bit. So here is my first roll. Oh, I go off the, off the table the first time. So that was a questionable ball on a four, I picked up eight minus. So I marked down an eight here. I'd go to the eight minus chart. Roll again. So that would be a routine ball since it landed outside the, the triangle, but on the board, 17, I picked up, I didn't pick up anything. So a 17 on a routine eight minus ball would be I missed the pin, so I got an eight that first frame. So we'll go ahead and go to the second frame. Oh, I'm gonna redo that. This is a very weird angle to try to roll. I'm gonna see if, okay, I'm gonna do it that way. Ugh, again, so six questionable ball on questionable, it would be a seven minus. So I picked up seven pins. I go to the seven minus chart for my second roll, and I went off again, 12. Seven minus on a 12, I didn't pick up anything. So this is pretty, pretty much accurate for me. So I've got a 15 after two frames. Go ahead and roll again. That would be a nine on the target board is a routine roll, and I pick up nine. So frame three, I got a nine, so I'll go to the nine column, roll again. And that is in the shaded zone, so that is, is an exceptional throw, and I picked up the spare. So, on to frame four, first roll. I got a routine ball, one, so I got a strike. Routine ball, one, that is an X, so that is a strike. So that, I believe, would be 10, 20, 35. And if I'm off on my scoring, just let it go for now because this is bowling scoring is just something I've never been able to wrap my head around. So into the fifth frame after just rolling a strike, here is our first roll. It's a routine ball. And on a two, that is a strike. So two strikes in a row for me. Into the sixth frame, off the board. So 14, questionable ball. That is a Z ball. So we go to our dice, go to the Z chart on the off target rolls. And that is a 64, which is <laughs> one pin. So I picked up one. So that would be uh, second strike 21 to 55 would be 56, I believe. So that was a Z ball. So I go to my one chart, which would be chart C, 
and I would say there's uh, A, 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 B, C, D, E, and F are below. That's the type of bowler it is. On a spare on the 160 average is a B, so I'll be looking at the B chart. For a one spare attempt, B, and I went off again, 11. So then I pick up five on that roll. So, so that would be 16 plus 56 is 72 plus six is 78. So I've got a 78 after six frames. And we'll go ahead and finish this game out since it's going pretty quick. Um, next video, I think uh, once I understand the rules a little bit better and maybe get this down, I'll time out how long it takes to play 10 frames and just give you a little bit of an idea of gameplay time. So let's go ahead and roll for the seventh frame. Oh, 12, I barely made it onto the target board. So 12 on a routine ball is eight. So then I go to the eight column and roll. That's a routine ball, 13. I picked up the spare. So we'll go on to the eighth frame here. Ugh. It'll take a little while to get that figured out, but I rolled a two on a routine ball, and that is a strike. So that is 10 plus 10, 20, 98. So frame nine now, and I'm going to count that on, oh no, it's off the, it's off the lane. So questionable three is eight minus, so I need one more roll to figure out the score after frame eight. So eight minus, and routine ball two is a spare. So that would be 10, 20, so 118 after eight. So then we go to frame number 10. Roll it, ooh, exceptional ball, 10. That is a strike for my first roll. So two, that would be 10, two throws after that one would be 18. No, that was for that frame. That took care of the strike. Eight spare, one roll. So that would be eight, 10, 18, 136. And I go for my second roll in, ten, in frame 10. Routine ball, 11. That is an eight. So here is my third roll in the 10th frame, routine ball, 16, or no, eight. It was regular eight, 16 on a routine ball is one. So that is nine, 10, or 19. So after 10, and this is where it's just gonna go all haywire. Right 154, I believe. 10 would be 146 plus 9. Yeah. Uh, 19 is 155 plus 9 is 164. So 164 after 10 quick frames on a 160 average. So pretty good there. So as you can see, guys, fun little game to play. Um, even not knowing anything about the rules, very quick and easy to pick up. I mean, a game took me, what, 10, 15 minutes, and that's even with um, you know, trying to figure out scoring. It took about, took about 10 minutes just to kind of glance over the rules and get a general idea of gameplay. So very quick to pick up, very easy to play, fun. Um, I actually have a bowling play mat that I, I got as part of a bundle deal when they had binge week bowling a couple weeks ago. So 
I don't know if, you, if it's the same thing with that. I would assume it is with rolling down the lane, but we'll break that out next time. But that is not part of the base game. That's just an extra add-on that you can purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just looking behind the scenes about what comes with the Bolarama game. I'm really interesting to get re interested to get into this. Maybe setting up a Friday night league bowling uh, on our channel. So, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. I hope you liked uh, kind of going behind the scenes and doing the unboxing of this game. Next video, we'll play. Maybe we'll do four bowlers at a time or maybe get started on a little tournament or start working on league setup but we'll get, uh, look into it a little bit more next time have a little better idea and see how long it takes to play a game so until next time guys thanks for going behind the scenes and have a great night